What is up guys, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a new keyboard alternative for Android, and this is one of the reasons why I love Android so much, is because you can have, I mean there's probably tens, even, you know, 10, 20 some odd keyboard alternatives in the Android market, where on iOS or another platform like that, or Windows Mobile, Windows Phone 7, sorry, um, you're pretty much locked down to the keyboard that they provide, which kind of sucks. Now, the default gingerbread keyboard is pretty nice. Um, a little bit too small for my liking, especially on this 4.3 inch screen. So I was looking for a new keyboard to do a couple different things. Um, the stock one does pretty good uh, recognition, but every once in a while, I don't know if it's my phone or what, I have issues with, you know, I'll try to hit the A key and nothing will register or whatever. But I discovered um, Swift Key Beta X, I think is what it's called. Um, it's in the Android market, and it's free right now. It is in beta. I think their normal one is $199. Um, but since this is just the beta version, uh, yeah, it's called Swift Key X Beta. Sorry. But this is a new rendition of the Swift Key uh, keyboard. If you've used it before, I would, which I had, uh, I would strongly recommend that you give this one a try, considering it is free. And I think it was today... Or pretty recently, they announced that uh, SwiftKey uh, X would be available on tablets, Honeycomb tablets now. So that's pretty awesome. So let's take a look at the keyboard here. Whoops. Um, tell me that, you know, uh, that you can actually buy it. So here you go. As you can see, it fills more of the screen. And the first thing that probably comes out to you is it, it is a dark theme, which I am a fan of. But the keys are more spaced out, and they're bigger than the stock Android keyboard. Unfortunately, I can't show you this because um, it's kind of hard. Not really hard, but it takes a while to uh, switch keyboards on Android. But let's just go through the keyboard. I mean, it's pretty standard. You can hold and, you know, get other options. There's secondary keys. But you can also hit the uh, Swift key key here, and you got your settings. You can customize things from... Language, theme layout, they've got three themes, I think it is now. Uh, you can get the dark, the light, or the neon, that gives you a little look there. Uh, neon's pretty cool, I don't really like it. If it was green, I might like it or something like that, but anyhow, I mean, you can go through and set all these settings, but the cool thing is it gives you stats. Now, I'm a really quick typer, and I depend on uh, auto-suggest and also auto-correction to fix my mistakes, so as you can see, 45% uh, more efficient from... Uh, when I started using this, so that's pretty good. Go back here. Now, the big thing, and a lot of people don't like this, is um, it actually syncs with uh, services like Facebook. Uh, it'll pull in from your SMS. It'll pull in through your Twitter, and I think uh, that might be it. Anyhow, um, it syncs with those services, and it kind of looks that uh, looks at, say, uh, let's say I tweet... I have a lot. The statement, I have, you know, I have a bagel, I have a camera, I have a phone, I have an, whatever. Um, so let's just say that that's my number one thing that after I say I, the next word should be have. And it, it, it slices and dices and it figures out, you know, the percentage of that. So if I type I, um, it would come up with have. So here's the three top things that I normally type after I type the word I. Think, am, have. So that's pretty cool. I mean, the keyboard's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. But I really like the fact that it syncs with Twitter and Facebook and uh, your SMS and figures out what words and what phrases you use combined with each other, which I think is awesome. So, like, um, I don't know. Let's just see how this goes. So we'll go, I have the worst headache and I probably typed of my life or something. I mean, that's just awesome, you know? And I think this is a really cool keyboard. Honestly, I would just uh, recommend that you guys give it a try. It's free in the Android market as of now. And I'll have a, a new video coming out pretty soon. If you're watching this recently, they just released a new version of the Android market. And I'm going to have a uh, kind of a tutorial on how to download that if you haven't gotten it already. So stay tuned to our channel, YouTube.com. I don't know why I did that. YouTube.com slash ThatNickJones. 
Um, all the links are going to be down below, and then also I'll try to put them right here in the lower third. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash thatnickjones. You can check out um, pbcasttv.com for all the podcasts that we do, and also youtube.com slash pbcasttv. I'm really uh, excited about the engagements that we're having over there. Um, uh, I think our Mixer video is almost close to 8,000 views or something like that, so that's awesome. And then uh, also, like, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this is the Google Plus uh, application. If you're on Google Plus, hit me up. I am gplus.to slash Nick Jones, N I C K J O N E S. And uh, I'm really also excited about what's going on over there. And we've been having a lot of cool interactions. And uh, I would encourage you to jump on and follow us on Google Plus. So I guess until next time, I'm Nick Jones. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Peace.